Hi everybody, good evening, welcome, welcome. So can you see my shelves are bare? <laughs> so I have no stamps in cases that I know of. Oh, I have a couple, but you know, most of them have gone. Uh, no ink in the house, apart from maybe a little spot. Uh, oh no, I kept the memento. Um, my dies, my punches, everything. I've just uh, taken it to a venue to do card making tomorrow with some local people. So I have on my desk the mess that I left yesterday and a kit. And I need to wish some people some happy birthdays. So we've got Martina's birthday. And Trish, Trisha's birthday yesterday. And it was Joanna's birthday yesterday, but I just it just went past me, even though like I did know it was her birthday coming up. So I'm so sorry. I'm the worst person at wishing people happy birthday, just saying. Okay. For a card maker, I am very useless. So I'm sorry about that, guys. You just have to tell me. Tell me it's your birthday and I'll wish you happy birthday. And this is even with Facebook. Sometimes I just don't get on there. Good wet morning from Australia. Good morning, Matthew. Good morning. Hi, Anne. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Tina, Shaz, Annie, and Glenna, and Vicky. Hello, hello. Mary, Shaz. Still raining. Still raining in the States. Stay safe, guys. Um, who else is here? Tina, Lisa, oh, Lord. you're worse than me. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, I'm just gonna say I've been busy. I've been busy. Right. Anyway, happy birthday to you all. Right. So maybe I'll make Martina's card today. Let's get onto my desk. All right. So I've got my jacket on today. Um, it is cold. It is cold here. Let's get this straightened up. Right, I'll show you what's in here. Now, I took this to the States with me. I took apart some kits. I think there's sort of two or three kits all in here. And I like doing that sometimes because, it, yeah, it just mixes it up a little bit. So this was a card I made in New Orleans when I brought it back with me. Uh, these are some card bases. Um, I will try and figure out which kits these are all from and then put the links in the description. So here we go. We've got some envelopes and card bases. Ooh, envelopes are fun. Sometimes the paper inside the envelopes are really interesting. Ooh, I might tear that one up. Okay, right. So loads of envelopes. Card bases. I love these embossed ones really fun then we've got this one that's got sort of shiny shiny stuff like, like shiny look at those embossed ones beautiful then we have lots of lovely pop out stuff we've got some dimensionals now this is from another kit this stamp set also got some more stamps in here and some other pop outy bits, which really I should have already popped out. But anyway, okay, some more glue bits and some pearls and other pieces. Right, let's make something with this. I don't want to be too late tonight, guys, because I've got a busy day tomorrow. And um, I, I, I just felt I wanted to come on and say hello. So I have kept back. I didn't take this with me, the black memento ink. I have got a block just to make it easier for me to use. Uh, what else have I got? I've just got some tip bits around the place. I've got some glue. I've got some dimensionals. So shall we just make a card? Now I fancy tearing apart one of these envelopes. What's it gone? This one. I like the look of this. I like the stripe. And I like putting stripes with florals. So let's see. Okay, so we've got, got quite a bit of a 
quite a bit there. Oh, now the other thing I kept back was my little trimmer. This one. So I could use this to take this all apart. So, yeah, my other trimmer's packed. It's all gone. I wanted to get a bit of a head start on tomorrow, you see, so I took my... Most of my Stampin' Up! stuff is gone. Including some retired products. Right. Let's cut these into usable strips. All right. Just going to grab a card base. Nice pink one here. It's got nice texture on that. Whose birthday? Another birthday. Hi, Susan. Oh, your anniversary. Oh, yes, you remember you mentioned that the other day. Fab. Nice bit of contrast there. Then we've got these lovely stickers. I'm going to just use a bit of that. Where's my scissors gone? I don't want to use all of that, so I'm just going to use a wee bit of it. Just going to put line up my I'm lining up my card with the grid lines just to sort of figure out where I need to put this. I don't want the dark green to show. I just want the pale green. Oh no! No 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 no! Just want that there. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Just want that little bit there. Nice. Right, what have I got in here to use? Got lots of fun things. Oh, some stickies. Got nice. Saying, it's not saying a, a thing for putting your sentiment on. Nice little tag. Let's see what we've got here. Seriously grateful for you. That's nice. Thanks. All I can say is thanks. Thank you. Oh, I like that. Thank you. I like a fancy script. Hello, Tashana. Oh, it's been a little minute. How are you? Oh, oh. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Oh, got this one. There we go. Right, this one wants to flop around, so I'm just gonna pop that down like that and pick it up that way. So sometimes in the kits you do get a little block. And um, they're not, I will be up front with you and say that if you can afford it, I would invest in purchasing the Stampin' Up, uh, the blocks that are available in their annual catalogue, because look at the difference. These are so much easier to hold on to. And whenever I watch people demonstrating stamping and they're using blocks like this, I shout at I said, you should be using Stampin' Up! ones, they're so much easier. Because it's so... E I mean, even when I use these, I occasionally still drop them. Because I'm, sometimes I have butterfingers. But it's so much easier to drop these because they're just straight edged. So the reason that Stampin' Up! do put these in the kit are because it's a lower price point. You know, you'd be paying a lot more for the kit if you had the Stampin' Up! official blocks. So... For a beginner stamper, 
great. You know, gets you stamping, gets that ink onto the stamp, onto your paper and gets you going. But I would say if you can afford it, get yourself the stamping up ones, the official one. Okay, I've just spotted these adorable little flowers and I'm thinking I would like to decorate my card with these. How cute are they? Oh, there's more. There's more, there's more. And I've just realised there is a really nice little leaf here. Look. And I'm wondering if... leaves or flowers there I could stamp a leaf to make it look like it's coming from that flower right I don't know if I've used this before so I'm just testing it out oh I could test it out on here couldn't I that's a bit posh I think oh and I might oh I could cut it out as well Okay. Oh, Ruth, you're full of good ideas tonight. <laughs> uh, because actually, I'm not sure how well it's going to stamp on this pink. This pink has got like shiny stuff on it. So, you know what? I am going to not even try. And I am going to cut out the leaf from here to pop underneath my little flowers. <coughs> You've got rain and wind, you're doing great. Oh, good, Tashana. I used sticky tape and put two of the kit blocks together. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Good way not to waste them. I guess they're useful in a class. So how many people have you got coming around tomorrow, Cindy? I know Cindy's having a World Card Making Day event. Now, I haven't actually publicised this before on my channel, but I will do because, I don't know, I just got around to doing it. Stamping Up have actually organised a virtual Zoom event for World Card Making Day tomorrow. And you can join in for free. Now, actually, I do believe the link should be on the public page on the Stampin' Up page but I will pop a link in the description for you to go join that if you're not doing anything tomorrow now I'm not going to be there I don't think I, I have registered but I don't think I'm going to be there because like I said I'm doing this in-person event so I'm going to be sorting out my ladies that are coming uh, you had invited eight but two girls at L might be there oh so you've got six of them coming that's a nice amount though I'm sure you'll get lots done in between e the eating of cake and chatting which I know must go on at your house Cindy you like a bit of cake don't you now if there are any of my girls watching who are coming I've ordered three different types of brownies I there's a local lass who um, runs a baking business and I've had her brownies before they are amazing and so I ordered salted caramel biscoff and oh no, what was the other thing I ordered? Just go and get my messages up to find out. Oh, basically, all stuff I like. <laughs> um, oh, that's it. Four biscoff, four salted caramel, and four twelve. Ah, oh, now for you guys. I don't know if you guys in the States have Twirl or Canada. There's a, a chocolate bar that we call a Twirl here in the UK. So I think she basically makes like a brownie, but then adds these extra bits into them. 
so they are scrummy scrumptious so I've ordered those as a bit of a treat now because they're so big I'm just going to cut them up and then people can just sort of have a little bit of a nibble throughout the day right um, I think I'm happy with that although I would like to add some other bit of green I'm just seeing if I've got any other like mint because this is mint macaron I believe oh oh sorry no, I've got I've got um, messages coming through. Let me, I'm just going to pop my charger in because that's just reminded me that I need to have my charger on there. Sorry, I've just had messages. <sighs> right, on the go, on the go. You're camping this weekend, but would love to pop in. Oh, hi, Gail. Lovely to see you. Hi Lorraine. Right, so I'm just trying to find if I've got some other bit of pale green that I could use. Oh, I don't think I do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use that leftover bit here. I might just slip it under that bit there. Right, you know what I'm going to do? Let's put this back on here for a sec. And I'm going to use some of these little wee glue dots. So these tend to come in the kits. You don't, you can't purchase these in the catalogue. They are little adhesive dots that are really useful. Okay. And so you pop them on and then you peel back the white to reveal the sticky. And I'm going to pop my stripy piece of paper that came from the envelope. Oh, come on, behave, behave. There we go. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue just on the back of that. And then I want to make sure this is right, yeah. I'm going to stick that onto there like so. Oh, no, don't, don't, wiggle, come on, wiggle, wiggle. That's it. That wasn't straight then. Right. And I want a little bit of the stitching to show through. There we go. Right, let's get this stuck down then. Got some dimensionals here. I feel like I've faffed around for too long. Come on, Ruth, get yourself together. So I was thinking I could give this to my lovely baker tomorrow. So thank you. So the other thing I ordered from her was she all got she organises like grazing tables for people. She'll come to your party and set out food on a big board and so um, she delivered all that stuff for me this evening so I've got some of my ladies have ordered lunch <clears throat> and they were happy to pay for this lady to do this so she's got all the like like the veggies chopped she's chopped up bread there's crackers cheese hummus olives oh lots of yummy sort of just picky stuff you know which kind of i think you do want at an event where you're card making you don't want to have like really heavy meal because you're not doing much moving around and so you want lightweight light things like oh yeah ham and cheese and salami and and you want to kind of pick, you know, you want to pick all day. Not that we're going to have, no, so we're not going to have the food out for all day because obviously that's not safe. But um, I'm going to put it out half 12 and then, you know. So I'm really looking forward to my lunch tomorrow. Yeah. 
Yeah, so she's delivered it all and then she's going to provide some nice boards for me to lay it all out. Alright. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Come on, off you come. There we go. Let's pop that little flower there. That flower there. How cute is that? Super simple. Don't forget the chopsticks. That is true. I have taken some forks, Glenna. They're going to have little, little plates. And little forks, but that is a good idea. Yes, chopsticks. There we go. That's cute. This is like no card you'll ever see from a kit, ever, <laughs> unless you 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 remake it. All right. So what about one of these this time? Should I put one of these on. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it in half. And hope it's straight. <laughs> and I'm going to stick with this one coming on from here. Oh, that was not very straight. Anyway, this one coming on from here. And let's see what is her. Some of this. It's very pretty, but it's. I'm wondering if I could have some of that coming on. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just chop it and do it. I'm going to be very careful how I stick it though. Looks like a looks like a turnip growing at the ground now. There we go. All right, I think I'm just going to use my Tombow because I feel like I need to just help some of these leaves by sticking them down. Otherwise, they're going to get torn off very easily. Right. Dab, 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 dab. Right. Oh, you're going to Cindy's now. Is that what you've decided? That's so funny. So welcome to my channel, if you've never been here before. This is Friday night, laid back, chilled, crafting. And as I said, because I've packed a lot of my, um, well, pretty much all Stampin' Up! products, apart from the stuff that you can see on my table, um, has gone. Just put that little piece there and then that there, just to make that look a bit bigger. What else do we have in this delightful little package? So this is a kit that is available in the, I think it's the mini, I will double check. And you get the most adorable lunch bag with it. I'm just going to have it. It's this one here. I actually took this again. I took this to New Orleans as well to put, I put all my swaps in here. 
and it's gorgeous look at that it's insulated but you don't necessarily have to use it for your lunch you could use it for makeup you could put your you know little kits and stuff in it so yeah do all sorts with it really right just try and find some of the leaves oh and just saying hello I wonder if that would look nice in the middle. But no, I think that's a bit too big. I think I might just cut that out. What else have we got? Mm. Yeah, like I said, I just feel like it's too big. Let's swap that one out. just nice to have a couple of different foliages in there so I'm gonna cut this out now don't be afraid of doing this with your kit at the end of the day if you've purchased it or someone's gifted it to you it is now yours for you to do whatever you want with so if you don't want to use it as designed in the brochure that you get with the kit that's fine. You are not going to get Sarah um, Douglas. Sarah's, by the way, Sarah's the CEO of the company, Stumping Up, knocking on your door saying, What have you done with my kit? It's just not going to happen. So if you want to cut things up, move it around, have a little play. Well, it's your kit, you do what you want with it. So, you know, if you want to mix kits together, you want to add your own little things, just go for it. Because I would personally much rather you used what you have rather than thinking, oh no, I can't do it that way, and then never, never use it. Right, I think we're ready to stick down. So I'd like this one to be on a dimensional, so I'm going to just pop that one aside for a sec. Pop my little flower in there. I'm going to stick that there, so I just want this to be stuck now. Just go just check that there, that there. And 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 where can my dimensions go? There they are. Let's sort this out in this corner. You're designing Christmas cards. Oh, good for you. Well, talking about Christmas, if you're not part of the Christmas Stampathon, we if you want to be making Christmas throughout the whole year, Christmas cards or, or Christmas related things, we start in January and give you inspiration year long. Every 25th of the month, we come out with a new little idea. And then the four of us that are currently in the... Um, group we we do four ideas for you and then you kind of do what you want so this month's challenge is to make a card that will hold a gift card and usually we challenge you to make at least four so that way you get a real proper head start on the holidays you've made 30 uh, i panic when i just think about cutting things Oh, Marilyn, that's not uh, not very conducive for card making. We don't want panicking go ensuing at the craft table. And I've just realised I've done that upside down. Right. Oh, phew! Realised just in time. Okay, now I don't mind it that way around. But I am going to just adjust what I was going to do. I think I was going to stick that there now. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I wouldn't panic at the end of the day with the kits. There are so, you get so many little items that there's, you know, if you do make a mistake, there's plenty more to play with. Right, let's have a look at these little pearls. These are very sweet. They're like a peachy colour. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, no, don't stick to the scissors. That's better. That's so cute. I like that. Oh, good, Andrew. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, you're welcome, Lisa. Oh, take care, Lorraine. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Jan. Who's having chicken pot pie? Oh, Annie Wagner. Or Annie Wagner. Annie, how do you pronounce your name? Is it Annie Wagner or Annie Wagner? Right, I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to have to go. Right, so I want to use one of this Edie's embossed cards. Oh, that's quite a fun one with a quatrefoil. Should I do it this way up this time? Oh, no, there's that black ribbon -y stuff. Had a loose one. There it is. Je juste pour dire bonjour. I think that says. These peach flowers are so nice. I like the drama of the black. Just gonna see if there's other dramatic black bits that I could use. Oh, there are some black. Ooh, there are these. I'm gonna use some of those in a minute. And I quite like some of this textured stuff here. Oh, that's got a bit grey on it. Now, you know what I'm not liking? I'm not liking the end look. don't like that, so I'm going to cut this up. I think I just want to use the ribbons in straight lines, so I'm just going to cut this. Oh, hold on. If I cut that down... Like so. There we go. That'll make that way more usable. Okay. Oh, actually, I'm going to cut some little tails into it. There we go. Oh, I'm done. Let's cut that one. You're from New Hampshire, so actually say Wagner. Ah. I, I do find it's interesting in America that a lot of words that are, have become America, you know, yes. Word like for example New Orleans French words are very Americanized. So I was reading word names of places in the French way, because I think I've already said this on my channel. So sorry if I'm repeating myself, but you know we learn French at school here, and so. But then, over time they become. 
yeah, as I said, Americanized. Right, I quite like that. Now, I want to make these look longer, so I'm going to cut those in half and stretch them. Right, let's do that now. Right, I'm going to have to follow some sort of guide so that I get these in a straight line. So I'm just going to use a piece of paper here. Find a roughly the middle of this, line that up. Just stick a bit of washi tape on it to hold it straight for a moment. Yes. Oop. Just makes my life a bit easier. Right, so I'm going to lay that down the middle. Make sure I've got to get this, these ones because they're different thicknesses. So, so that one and that one, and then I want that to go there. So, let's start that one there. There, voila. This one here. Oh, fantastic. And then that one can go there. Now this one actually, we're full shortening this one. We don't, we don't need this one to be so long. There we go. Just checking I've got the right one. Yeah, it's that one. Right, I'll move that over. Actually, I don't really need this anymore. <laughs> Right, there we go. That looks nice on there. So I wasn't sure whether to put something going the other way. Let's cut this. That fish tails onto here. And I'm not sure whether I must have put colour onto this because I don't, and I don't even know what kit this came out of. As I said, I've combined some kits in this box when I travelled. So I'm just going to stick that across there like that. So if you've got a T square ruler, this is where this would be useful. Actually, I've just realised I've got to make a birthday card for. Um, Oh, Martina. Though I can't just say, just saying hello on a birthday card, can I? No, I won't. I won't, no, I won't send this one to her. Okay, it's coming, it's coming. 
Oh, I would like some little leaves now to come out from behind there. Now, I know these aren't going to stamp terribly well because this is textured, but I'm going to give it a good go. There we go. It's actually stamping really well. I would have thought with all the texture it wouldn't do it, but no, it's working fine. Yes, it's it's a few kits all muddled up together, Caroline. With a Ruth spin on it, yes, Mary's quite right. Gonna have a good look at what I've got in here. I think I need some of these smaller ones. I feel like the bigger ones are a bit too big. Now there's one that sort of looked like it was, there it is, off to the side. I like that. Looks like it's falling down, doesn't it? Hmm, not sure I should have it going up. No, I'm going to stick this down because otherwise it's just floating around. I'm going to be generous with the dimensionals because it's quite a large sentiment. Another thing I've noticed, it's got, well, sometimes when you, with these die cuts, when you pop them out the paper, you get these little like notches where they they were attached to the paper so you can get an emery board and just sand those off it just looks a little bit more profesh okay Excuse my tummy. Oh, oh. I think this is just too big, that one. I'm just going to give up on it. It's too much. Now, what about, this is that scrap bit of green from when I cut those leaves up. And I'm wondering if I can cut out some individual leaves. Stick one there. Stick one there. If I can just cut out some leaves just to tuck underneath there. And because we've got the green underneath, it's just a little bit of zing, isn't it, to the card? Because we've got black and white, this kind of lovely coral, calypso coral colour going on. But then we can have a little bit of, a little bit of zing, this green going on. Actually, if you had time, what you could do is do, um, you should actually stick that on there and then that, you know, there, but I'm not doing that. Um, it's called paper piecing when you do that. So, hi, Bob. Hi, Bev. Oh, hi, Nicole Blowers. Where are you from then? Oh, what's Caroline throwing? 
you're tossing the caber. Oh yeah, is that what you're talking about? The six foot tall cabers. They're amazing. Aren't they different each year as well? Sometimes they're almost like impossibly big. Sorry, for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, or well, I'm talking about, I don't know if that's what you're talking about, um, I'm in the chat, we're talking about the Highland Games, which the Queen was very, very pleased to enjoy and watch and so on. And so one of the competitions is for some very strong men to throw this massive bit of tree trunk and it, they have to throw it in a way that it flips it. It's amazing. Are you catching a cold? No, tossing an onion. Oh no, I'm just, I am cold. Uh, my craft room is quite cold at the moment. And I haven't got my nice new fleecy thing. I've just, I've been out and I've got my coat on still. But I've only got a t-shirt on, so. Right, this is the last one though. I am going to go after this. Right, so I'm happy with that. <gasps> oh, I tell you what I could use. I haven't used it yet. Is my lovely gift from Helena. I have got some press and seal. So I've never used this before. Now I apologise for those of you in the UK. You cannot but purchase this stuff. So this is what a lot of crafters do with it. They do this. I lift that off and then they can put their adhesive onto there. So I'm going to stick dimensionals there and there. And I'm going to cut up some of this. There we go, Glenna, my press and seal. It's finally made an outing. Stick little bits. No, no, no. That'll be all right. The only thing is, you've got to make sure you've got every bit covered. You know, every bit's got a bit of adhesive on. <laughs> right, and very carefully, I've got to take the backings off. I was just thinking, actually, I'd like to use this in a class. Right, then you flip it back over. Is that how I had it? You stick that down. Right, moment. Oh no, that's pulled that off. Okay, I'm done. Okay, that one's all right. Yeah! Ta da! Hmm. 
right I just want to pop some of these black little pearls on Nineteen foot. It's yes, it is. A, it, it is basically a bit of tree. <laughs> it is ridiculously big, but some years I think it looks bigger than other years, and it is really difficult for anybody to do it. Does it have to come from a particular tree, Caroline? Oh, there we go. I enjoyed making that. You know what? The last three nights I have felt creatively very happy with the results of you know what I've done. Just gonna pop some little pearlies. Oh no no no. Bit closer in. Little row three there, I think. Let me move you over just to follow that line around in the oval. Do you think I should do three up there as well? So kind of like follow the line round. I think we're done. Sorry about my messy desk. So tonight we've made this one. So I stamped those leaves and cut them out and then this was the inside of an envelope and then used these sticky bits and some flowers. And then this one, we did a lot of cutting things in half, so it's a really good use. Rather than sort of having a focal point in the middle, try cutting things in half and then putting them coming in from the side instead. Just an alternate use of these kind of like banners and bits and pieces. So that's that one. And then this one, so instead of using the... The N, as I call it, um, I cut it up and used it that way instead, and stamped those leaves onto the leftover bit of green. So this, these were this. So I cut that off and I stamped those little bits onto there and cut them out with help from my presents. It up. So there we go. Hi, Marilyn Elrod. Welcome. Have you been before? Thanks, Lisa. You like this one the best. I think I do too. It's just something about it. It's just ever so pretty. I think limiting the colours. Oh, you are so welcome, Tashana. Buzz you later. Lovely to see you. Yeah, lovely to see you. Yeah, there's just something about this one. Might try and emulate this one for a class but with different products. Yeah, there we go. Right, now can anyone name the kit? <laughs> There's this one, and then the one that's in the mini catalog. So, I'll just show you this one. So it's 
£37, but you get that gorgeous bag and you get all these little bits and pieces. Oh, th those what they called scallops stickers came from there. The flowers came from there. And the little pearls came from there. And the these cards. So obviously the black and the black leaves didn't come from this kit. I added those myself. They came from a different kit, which I don't think is in here. It will be on the kits page of the Stampin' Up! website. So let me just have a quick look and see if I can figure out the name of it. I'm just going to take a quick drink. Oh, by the way, happy end of the Stampin' Up! year, everybody. We are going into our new Stampin' Up! year on the 1st of October. <clears throat> right, menu. Shop products. Oh, kits. So. Oh, has anybody got the new Cozy and Bright kit? That does look fun. But I wouldn't use it the way they've done it. Oh, a million thanks. A million thanks. Oh no, a million dreams. Sorry, wrong musical. All right. A million thanks. So a million thanks is £20 in the UK. It's available in English, French and German. You get the thanks stamp set. You get a block, that little mini block. That block, you get these elements. So all the elements that you see me take apart, that, that's there. And then you get these card bases. And then there's another card base. Hold on, I think I showed it to you. It's like a different green. Oh, here it is, this one. That's nice, isn't it? Ooh, I like that one. That one. So you get that, that, and that. You get these. You get all these little little bits and pieces, flowers and things. You get a ink spot that I think is Evening Evergreen. Yeah, Evening Evergreen. And you get those black dots. So, yeah, so that's, that's that one. Then the other kit that I used, I used the stamps from this kit. It's this one here. Uh, this one is called, bear with, bear with, bear with, Ro uh, the Sentimental Rose Card Kit, and that's £18. Oh, hello. Oh, okay, fine. Oh, it's come to say hello. Um, so the stamp set comes from that, but, you, I mean, I've only just used the leaf, so you can find a leaf from another one. So if you've got another leaf, hello, you're going to come and say hello to my ladies. Oh, no, you're going to fly away. All right. Um, yeah, so I would say get a leaf from somewhere else. So £20 for this kit and 37 for this one, but you get that fabulous bag. You know, be the envy of all your uh, keyword, you know, your work, your colleagues at work <laughs> with a gorgeous lunch bag. So there we go. Now, do if you're not registered for World Card Making Day, let me just see if you can if I can get grab the link for that. Um, oh, how do I get home? Ah, da, 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 da. Stamping up home. Um, learn more. Okay, I'm gonna send you the link now for that. So I've got the UK link for that. Um, it is Using sentimental rose tomorrow if people aren't tired. Ah, there we go. Somebody's using that tomorrow. So if you haven't logged and logged in for the World Card Making Day event that Stampin' Up! have organised, it's completely free. This is the first time they've ever organised something like this, a free Zoom event. And they did um, put out uh, some information about some of the products they're going to be using. As I said, I'm sorry, I just didn't kind of clock to do that with you guys because um, a lot of you already, you know, meet up with people. And also, you know, 
I don't know. Yeah, sorry. My bad. I perhaps should have got the information out a little bit. You don't really understand. So you should have, once you've registered, you should have a link, Caroline, to a Zoom event. So you've joined Zoom events with me before. So World Card Making Day. Now they're going to do demonstrations with um, the products. Oh, where's my... Oh, I don't know where the email's gone. I was sure that I... I I registered for it, but maybe not. Hmm. You should have had an email to confirm. I might just have to register again. Anyway, um, yeah, try registering. You should have a welcome email. And then you just sort of join in. So you don't have to have the products with you. You can just craft along. You know, just enjoy, you know, listening to other people. Um, the kit with the lunch bag is 82 New Zealand dollars. There we go. There we go. You haven't had anything from Stumpin' Up. Oh, that's a bit interesting. Okay, I'm going to try and register again then. Right, join the event. Click here to register. Okay, I'm clicking now. I'm clicking now. Let me just go, let me just double check my emails to see. I'll just type in craft along and see if they have sent something to me. Oh, you're right. No, they haven't. Well, if you've if you've registered, I'm presuming they're going to send it out. Let me just see if there's any chatter about this somewhere else. Hold on. Sorry, bear with everybody. Sorry about this. Oh, there's a World Card Making Day Facebook group. Oh, what's that about? Okay, so there is a Facebook group for it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. This is, <laughs> I'm looking at some of my Aussie demo friends. They've created a group. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. No, that's not what that is. All right. I'm confusing myself here. Okay. Hold on. Um, oh, they have done a post about it. Hold on. Okay, right, I've got the link. I have got the link, everybody. Bear with. Okay, I've got it. There we go. So if you go to that page, you basically click on join the session. So let's have a look. Join in English 10 p.m. Oh, Europe. Europe is 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Oh, my goodness. Oh, gosh, you've got to be up early to watch that. All right. So has everyone got the link? There we go. Yeah, I'm not actually going to be there because I'm, I'm running my own event. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be um, 
Oh, you got an email, Wendy, did you? Ah. Oh, you had an email from Stampin' Up on the 29th. You reminded me to look. Oh, right, okay. Right, so there we go. Yeah, so the World Card Making Day group is, I don't think that's set up by Stampin' Up itself. It's, um, I think it's, I saw Sharon Dalton in there and I think Monica's in there. It's, it's a group, um, yeah, I can send you the link to, oh no, a, a, Vicky's just done it. Let me just have a look. If, um, yeah, so Monica is one of the, and Vicky Wright, I'm just looking at all the different people, Sharon Dalton. So I know Sharon and I know Monica. Uh, they just run this group called World Card Making Day. But that's separate to the Stampin' Up! event. That has got, you know, it's, it's not a Stampin' Up! organised Facebook group, that one. But the link I just sent you that says www.stampinup.uk, that is the link. All right. So there we go. You used, I think you used the same link, Mary. Um, oh, maybe not, actually. Yes, no, you do use that same link, events.stampinup.com, World Card Making Day. Right, let me just send that link again. So you guys can, there we go. Yeah, that's the international link. There we go. Right, I'll pop that on my Artful Stampin page. And then it's the... Okay, right, I am going to love you and leave you because I've got to go for my bed. I've lost you now, I don't know where you all are. Right, there we go. Um, ah, there we go, right. No, it's, yeah, so the World Card Making Day Facebook group is run by some Australian demonstrators, but on there you do have to use Stampin' Up! product, I believe because it is run by Stampin' Up! demonstrators, but it's not a Stampin' Up! organised group. Great, thank you. Right, well, have fun, whatever you do. Have a great weekend, and um, I'll let you know how my weekend goes if, if I can get my craft room back to any normality by Monday. We'll see. So, there we go. Yeah, thank you. I like the cards as well. Have a great weekend, everyone. Take care now. Tatty, bye. Oh, Andrea, thank you so much. That's really kind of you. Thank you. See you soon, guys.